Hello everyone, and welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Del May Cry 5. I'm your host, El Dudorino 900 So, last time we played as Virgil for a bit. You know, nothing too crazy to note. It's pretty much just the same thing as Dante and Nero's campaign, except now it's with Virgil, so it's even better. But yeah. And yeah, we already got some enemies. Flying enemies, more specifically. And we're just gonna come up with Yamato, because, you know, that's what Virgil does. Cuts people up with Yamato while I listen to Bury the Light. So normally with Nero, whenever you get on one of these pads, you would press R1 and press R2. But for Virgil, you have to press Circle in order to get over there. But first, I'm going to look over here and grab these orbs real quick. And, uh, yeah. Just... Yeah! Swing across from building to building like our name is Spider-Man. Except, you know, in my opinion, Virgil is cooler than Spider-Man, but that's just me. Alright. Anything over here? Little word tree, that's pretty good. Tiny blood orb. Tiny, tiny. Alright, let's get over there. Stay up there. Alright. Boom, baby. Him with that Yamato again. Alright, him with be a wolf now. Mm, I love how brutal be a wolf feels in this game. Oh yeah. That's an easy S ranking. Alright. Stay down. Oh man, this guy can't even touch us. Oh yeah. Got to listen to Barry Light for a little bit that time. Usually, whenever I play Virgil, it ends so quickly I don't even get to listen to the main chorus, so... Uh, that's kind of nice. Yoink. Ooh, I see a lot of red orbs over there, and I really want them. Yeah, there's an invisible wall here. That's okay. I don't need the red orbs that badly. Let me just get back over here. Ooh, there's a green orb over here. Gives me a little bit of red orbs when I have full health. Yeah. Sorry about the detour, guys. You know me. I at least have to try and check it out. Yeah, I don't want to waste too much time trying to investigate that, though. So, we're just going to move on. Okay. It's only one, huh? little bit of red orbs over here. Not many, but still. Enough to make me want to walk over here. 
Let's grab these real quick. Nice. Hang on. This requires some Indiana Jones style kind of climbing right here. Where you have to swing from one pole to the other. Like, you know what I'm talking about? You know how in the... In the in Indiana Jones video games or these sections where like you had to use your rope to swing Castlevania 4 style to certain places. I think that was a Temple of Doom game if I remember correctly. But yeah. That was for the original Xbox and that was a very fun game. If you like Indiana Jones, I highly recommend you check it out sometime. Oh, even as a kid, even though I didn't watch very much Indiana Jones. As dumb as it may sound, that game actually got me into the series. But yeah, it's very good. Alright, let's see what's over here. Impusas, of course. Alright, take care of these tentacle bastards. Alright, easy stuff. Alright. Let's see. Pretty sure we're supposed to go after this Klypoth route here. I believe that's what it's called. I usually just call it a blood clot, because that's a way easier to remember. Like, Klypoth, that's just a weird word. Like, I'm pretty sure they made it up just for this game. It means a unique sounding word, don't get me wrong, but... Blood clot is just way easier for me to remember. Hey, if you go over here, there's a wall you can break through. Had to give it a little bit of power to open it. Ooh, another red orb tree. Mmm, let me shower in those red orbs. Alright. For real, though, we should probably move on. up my devil trigger. Alright. Let's bust out be a wolf. Oh, you want some? Alright. Starting to do some serious damage now. Alright, got the blade circling around us. Awesome. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. Man, it's a good thing I can cancel that, otherwise that would just be a waste. I don't know what's up with me today. Don't know why I'm accidentally pulling my devil trigger, but that's okay. 
All that matters is we get through this level in one piece, and we look kinda stylish while doing it. Because what's the point of playing a Don't Make Cry game if you're not gonna be stylish about it, you know? Hmm. Red barrel here. Energy swords. I think I know what to do. Alright. And with the Yamato. Don't you do it. I'm gonna hurt you if you heal him. Thank you, sir. Alright. Hit him with the sword. Then with be a wolf. Hell yeah. Alright. Collect these red orbs. Alright. Huh. Guess you. Oh, you still have to hit this. I totally forgot about that. As soon as we got through that hidden wall, I kind of forgot about this blood clot, you know? But yeah, you have to hit both of them if you want to clear the pathway, just like before. Enemies will pop out, but they will be no match for Virgil's might. I mean, hell, they can't get through Nero. It makes them think Virgil has a chance. Seriously, if you can't beat the son of the son of Sparta, what makes you think you can beat the original son of Sparta, you know? The son of the son. This is a really complicated way of saying grandson. But yeah. Hit him with that Beowulf combo. Then with a stinger. Back to Beowulf. God damn do I love that combo. I love going from the Yamato to Beowulf in a matter of seconds. It's just so damn satisfying to me. But yeah. Let's see, anything down here? Guess not. Get these blood orbs. Jump up here. Oh, I'll try to jump up here anyway. Yeah, blood orb. Not too bad. And you really can't use this as an air hike, huh? That's okay. Virgil makes up for his lack of air with his awesome power. Honestly, I don't know why he felt the need to cut Nero's arm off when he already has much power. But whatever. It's like you're already strong enough, you don't need more power. I get you're dying, but... Cut off the arm of your own son, that's... Uh, that doesn't bode well with me. Yeah, I've heard of, I got your nose, but I got your arm. Yeah. Virgil's not exactly a good dad. Uh, of course, death scissors. Hit him with Beowulf. Alright. Not messing around anymore. Alright. 
Alright. I will say one thing. I like Virgil's regular Devil Trigger better than Dante's regular Devil Trigger, you know? I like how he summons out another person, you know? Like, that's kind of cool. It's like he's summoning a persona, or if you really want to be a weeaboo, it's like he's summoning his stand, you know? Even though I know that's obviously not what it is. But yeah. I'm not going to go back up there for that blood orb. Alright. Hmm. Sweet, sweet blood orbs. Man. Talk about breaking the glass window. Get over here. Get these orbs. Ooh. A van. Yeah, I think I want to customize some of my abilities. Let's see, trick down. Teleport diagonally down and back if performed in midair, or backwards if on the ground. That can honestly be pretty useful for dodging an attack. There's also a block move, but that decreases the concentration gauge. If the gauge is at level 2 or higher, you'll parry f f with finesse. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. And of course, a classic get more orbs skill, you know. That's only in this game, as far as I know. I played Don't May Cry 4 on the iPod Touch, but I don't think that version counts, so... Who knows, maybe they had to get more orbs ability there, but... To me, that ability is new, you know? Hmm. Alright, I have Judgment Cut End. I'm having a hard time choosing you guys. There's so much stuff to get here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with Trick Down. Because I think that's going to be pretty useful later on. While blocking attacks is all good and well, I personally prefer dodging them. Because, you know, dodging attacks makes me feel like a badass. Oh yeah. We already fought this boss before, Artemis. But yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go Sin Double Trigger. Alright. Variety definitely helps when it comes to Don't May Cry. Alright. Getting some major damage now. No flex tape is gonna fix that shit. Oh yeah, we got the SSS ranking, baby! Alright, hang on. I want to summon V. Let me just check out do that. RB, rotate left stick once, then the circle button. Okay. Alright. 
Yeah, I haven't shown off this ability yet, so I figured, you know, why not show it off? I'm sorry it lasts for so little, but hey, at least I showed it off. I actually like the world of V, you know, I think that's a pretty cool skill for Virgil to have. My question is, is are they going to bring it back for Devil May Cry 6? Assuming Virgil is going to be a part of the cast again. Because I definitely think they should. I think it's an awesome skill. You even get green orbs for doing it. But, yeah. Next mission. Alright. Nothing back there. I don't know why, I always like to check behind me whenever I start a stage. You never know if there's red orbs or... I don't know, some secret... something or another. Alright. Hell yeah. Alright. Hit him with that Beowulf. Hit him with a stinger. So I really love the stinger move, in case you couldn't tell. I spam it a lot, you know. What can I say? I like it because it's quick and it's strong. I like quick and strong moves. But if I had to choose between strength or being fast, I would probably choose being fast, personally. I know that's a bit random to say, but, you know... Like, take Dante, for example. As much as I love using a rocket launcher, it was kind of slow to use, you know? But Virgil, he has a lot of fast moves, you know? He's a very fast guy. That being said, Dante can always change up his style and do, like, Trickster to, you know, outrun Virgil, but... Eh. That's probably a debate for another day. But yeah. Got some more enemies here. Gonna cut them with the Yamato. Gonna fill up my Sin Double Trigger. Alright. Alright. Anything over here? No. Oh well, doesn't hurt to check. Ooh, blood clot. Awesome. Oh, oopsie daisy. Next objective, press and hold left stick. Alright. Well, I kind of don't care about the current objective. What I care about is this sweet orb tree right here, man. Alright. Mmm, hell yeah. Give me those blood orbs. I know I keep going on about blood orbs, but what can I say? I love buying new abilities. Alright. Alright. Hit him with the Yamato. Okay, I do not need send double trigger for these guys. Like, not to be rude, but it seems a bit overkill here. I know I accidentally used send double trigger before. Oh, I've used it on purpose many times for that matter, but the point is, I shouldn't use against weaker enemies like that. I should save for stronger enemies instead.
Alright. Is there a secret up here? Secrety kind of secret? Gold orb? Okay. How many of those do I have by now? 31. That does not surprise me. Yeah. I mean, you literally get gold orbs for logging in. So. I've kind of been logging in for a lot these past couple of days. You know, mostly for my Let's Play series. But, you know, I also like playing Buddy Palace as well. You unlock it after you beat the game. It's honestly a pretty fun mode to test how well you can do. For those of you who don't know, Bloody Palace is like this... It's like a whole bunch of floors, and you have to beat enemies on each floor. And the higher you get, the better your score ranking is. And there is an end, but it isn't for a very long time. To be honest, I don't know how many levels there are in Bloody Palace in this game, but... I imagine it's a lot. Yeah. I plan on doing Bloody Palace one of these days for my Let's Play series. That won't be for a while, though. I definitely want to make sure I get better at the game before I try anything like that. You know, recorded. Because I just don't want to look like a pushover when I'm doing that, you know. Gotta improve my skill. Get stronger, Dante. <laughs> but yeah. I'll probably do Bloody Palace after the final part of this Let's Play series. For those of you who are interested for a reason, I do plan on doing an extra part to certain Let's Play series. If you're wondering what the extra part is going to be like, it's where I show off the extras of a game. I've been thinking about doing an extra part to Let's Play Jet Set Radio for a while, but... I don't know, it's just not that high on my priority list. Because the game's already complete, you know. But regardless, I still want to do an extra part of that to show off all the characters I unlocked in that game. I have the bragging rights of saying I unlocked Pots. The skate, the skating dog, you know. If you get jet ranking in all the stages, you'll unlock pots, which is literally just a dog on roller skates. It's like the best thing ever. But yeah. The point is that I plan on doing extra parts to certain Let's Play series. I probably won't do it for RPGs, you know. Because once I'm done with the RPG, I'm done with it. You know, I don't feel like showing off some extra part to it. But for games like Devil May Cry 5, or, I don't know, games you can just easily jump in and out of, I'll be happy to do extra part for that if there's lots of extra content to show off. But yeah, just in case you guys were interested in knowing that, you probably weren't, but I just figured I'd share it with you, you know. But yeah. Now we're gonna fight these bad guys. Alright. I should probably switch it up, huh? After all, it's pretty boring doing the same move over and over again. I know I do that sometimes, so I try not to make it a habit. Because, you know, this game's all about being stylish. Ooh, we got some sick skills. Hell yeah. Hmm. Can I get up there? I can. Got a blue orb fragment. And we got one more vitality bar. Very nice. I love getting more health in this game. It actually goes for any game, for that matter. I don't know, I just like feeling tougher, you know? 
Like, look at my health bar right now. I look like I'm a boss, you know? I mean, I technically am. I'm playing as Virgil. He's usually the boss of the Old May Cry series, but the point is, I didn't start out like that. I had to work my way towards it, you know? Like, take Yakuza, for example. That game, you're able to increase your health. And you start out very short, but, you know, it gets very long depending on how you level up. Which is nice. In short, I just like games that do that. Oh boy, what do these jackasses want? I get the feeling they're not here to have some tea with us. Alright. So yeah, the thing about doing this move right here is it takes Devil Trigger, but it's honestly worth it. It's pretty powerful, and it gets you an easy rank improvement, you know? Like, I just went from a B to an A, easy. And now I'm back down to a C. This is how it be, though. All right. Hell yeah. All right. Let's see what's over here. Oh man, we got a couple options. A fork in the path, if you will. Now that's ways the way we're supposed to go, but... To be honest, I kind of want to see what's over here. I think there's some goodies, as you can see. And heck, I even like fighting the enemies, because I get more red orbs that way. Alright, hit him with the stinger. I love using Judgment Cut while I fire off, like, my laser swords, you know? I know they're called, like, Mirage Edge or Mirage Blade or something like that, but I just like calling them laser swords. Huh. Get in there, Nidhogg. Alright. So yeah, here there's another place where we can use a Nidhogg hatchling. Just get in there. And you have access to some red orbs. You know, in case you really care about that kind of thing like I do. Like, I don't think I've went one part in this whole Let's Play without mentioning red orbs. That's how much I love them, you know. I apologize to anyone if that gets annoying. I just, you know... I just love red orbs, what can I say? Hang on. I know I can get up there, I just... There we go. Yeah, though, there's a secret mission here. To be honest, I'll probably try to attempt in my free time, you know? In my Let's Play series, I try not to fuck around too much. I just try to get through the level and get it done and over with. As you know, I don't like to waste viewers' time. I don't like to waste my own time. That's just how I am. Even though I kind of waste time by searching for red orbs, but... That's different, because I can get abilities then. But if you complete those secret missions, you will actually get a blue orb. So, or a rather blue orb fragment, if I remember correctly. So you're definitely going to want to make sure to do all those missions in order to gain all the blue orbs you can. Just because I don't do it doesn't mean you shouldn't, you know? I'm just kind of lazy, and I just want to get this level over with. But you, you should definitely make sure you do those levels. Don't be like me. Be better. 
At least when it comes to video games. Alright. Hit him with the Mirage Edge. Oh, damn! That is so cool. I love that move so much. Yeah, I can't touch this. Alright. There we go. So yeah, the boss up ahead is the exact same as V, only now we're doing it as Virgil, which is technically a part of V. In fact, I could summon V if I wanted to in that boss fight, but first, let's customize. Alright. Hmm. There's nothing I really want to get for Beowulf at the moment. Hmm. I'm thinking about getting something new for Yamato. Void Slash, that's what I want. Alright, you guys ready to fight the boss? I am, so let's go. Oh yeah, this is Nidhogg. Again, you know, because we already found his B. Alright, I'm gonna try to fill my Sin Devil Trigger. Let's try using a Yamato and Mirage Edge or whatever it's called. Alright. Well, at least we're doing some serious damage. Alright. Yeah, this guy's getting restless. He wants in on the action too. not going to hold anything back. Alright. There we go. There we go. Got him halfway down. I'm just kind of spamming square and triangle right now, you know. So far it's working. Well, kinda. Yeah, I'm not a professional player, as you can see. As I said many times, but I still have fun, nevertheless. Yeah. Alright. Fill that meter up. Alright. Slowly but surely building our rank up right now. Nidhogg made a return, which is nice, because now we can just beat on him. Alright, I like hitting him with Beowulf when he's on the ground, because that's the only chance I get to do it. Alright. 
Alright, he's almost dead. Hell yeah, man. And, uh, yeah. Got two sages down. I think I'll call that a wrap. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I certainly had fun. And I'll see you next time.